hi guys wow it has really been forever i can't even remember the last time i think when i checked it out how long ago it was since i filmed it's about a year and a half ago or a little bit more since i had my second baby but today i'm coming to you with five polishes five of the 12 polishes from the opi grease collection the summer collection for 2018 and I haven't received that many polishes lately, which is understandable since I have not been very active uh, due to my babies, of course, my girls taking so much time and it's been hard to come around to film. But I'm gonna try to do this again uh, more frequently than a year and a half in between at least. That's my goal, so. <laughs> um, I hope you're all doing well and I'm happy to be back. I don't really know what else to say. It's been so long. Uh, all of these polishes are already out in stores, so let's dig in to these five colors. First off is this polish, Don't Cry Over Spilled Milkshakes. And I think in the bottle it looks like a creamy white but almost with a mint touch. So let's see what it looks like onto the nail. As you can see from the two First nails, it is kind of streaky and it doesn't cover in one coat, so definitely in need of two coats. And it does look more cream white only onto the nails, but we'll see what it looks like with two coats as well. And coat number two. If you want it to be absolute perfection in coverage, it looks like it might require a second, uh, a third coat. Um, I could pull it off like this because I don't want two thick coats, but um, two coats, I think I'm going to try a third and just see what, uh, how big the difference will be. And let's put on a third coat to see about the opacity. I think the difference is huge and let me bring you a little closer. I think it looks way more uh, true white on camera. It's more like a milkshakey, creamy kind of white, but I still think I see just a slight hint of a mint tone, but it's super subtle. But I don't know if it's just me, but that's how I see this color. But here you have three coats of the color. Don't call, oh, let's see, uh, don't cry or spilled milkshakes. And next up is this pastel yellow. And this one is the name Meet a Boy, Cute as Can Be. One of the things I'm always looking for most is the opacity. I prefer only to need two coats. But um, here you can have, here you have one pretty streaky coat. And coat number two. I do feel it's the same with this polish, that it does require a third coat. Yeah, I think so. So I got a little messy there because I got nail polish remover still. <laughs> it was wet on my nail, on my cuticle, so that's why. Um, but here you have two coats, but I'm going to put on a third. All right, let's put on the third coat and see if it makes all the difference. There you go, three coats of this lemony, well it's not really, well kind of lemony pastel yellow, meet a boy cute as can be, three coats. This color was actually one of the colors that I was looking forward to the most to try. So I'm glad that this was one of the colors that I got. It's a beautiful tealish turquoise kind of color teal. And this one is the name, was it all 
just a dream. This one is definitely streaky on one coat, but it does look like it could be a two kind of two coat kind of polish. And I really hope that I love this color. And um, this is one coat. Let's see what it does with the two coat. I got a massive lint in that stroke, so I need to do it again. But let's try again. And two coats here. See, this is the kind of OPI that I love. Beautiful color, easy to work with, does cover perfect in two coats. Mm, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> this is so far one of my favorites, definitely. Really beautiful. Uh, two coats of the color, was it all just a dream? And now onto some more bright. This is the color, let's see. Summer Lovin', Having a Blast, a really bright orange. I think colors like this is so much fun in the summer and when you have a nice summer tan, uh, it's gorgeous. Here is one coat, really good opacity. It's still a little streaky, but really good opacity on one coat. And coat number two. I really think this could work on two coats, unless you take too little onto the brush. All right, two coats. I think I'm gonna go for two coats here. Really good opacity, easy to work with. This is really bright bright orange, but really nice with some tan hands or tan feet. Gorgeous. And last from the five colors that I got is this really deep blue. Uh, it does have a little shimmer inside, but it is so deep blue, so it's. I think it's a little hard to catch. We'll see uh, if it shows <clears throat> if it shows more onto the nail. But this is called chills are multiplying. All right, so it's it is kind of runny, but it's a pretty blue. We'll see uh, what it does with two coats, but. Kind of streaky, but really pretty blue, actually. I don't think the shimmer shows on that much. A little, but let's see about the lighting here. I think we need to see with two coats and see uh, how the difference will be with that. All right, let's bring on the second coat here. It always, like darker colors, it really makes such a huge difference on one coat, how much it deepens the color. The shimmer is showing off more now as well, but it's very subtle. Maybe in direct sunlight, it would really glow. But do you see that, the difference it makes, how much it deepens the color with two coats? But I definitely think it works with just two coats and I don't, shouldn't, it shouldn't require three. I think yeah, this is good. Wow, that's a really beautiful deep blue. Can you see that? Can you see the shimmer? See, yeah, it is showing off, but it is really subtle. But here you have two coats of the last color that I had. Uh, chills are multiplying. Really pretty. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was a bit enjoyable and I have always been trying to make more qualitative videos. I haven't really been able to get like a new camera or anything, especially since I haven't been very active, but um, I'm gonna try to do that more. And uh, like I said, I had two girls, 
the eldest one is I will I have been filming a little bit since I got my first one uh, my first daughter she is gonna turn four in September her name is Melba and I have a second little girl that was born in December 2016 so she is turning a year and a half in just a couple of days due to when I'm filming this so uh, I'm gonna put in a little video so you can just see what they look like and hear a little from them <laughs> We do the Mima. Hello, hello. Ah, don't pick my nose. Don't pick my nose. <laughs> or don't touch my lipstick. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Put a little boo boo. Ah! Alright, alright. Okay. <laughs> Mima. A year and a half. Mima boo boo. Mima. Look in the camera. Where's Mima? Look in the camera. Hi, hi. And Melba, three and a half, well, a little bit more. She'll turn four in September. <laughs> so that was my two little girls, the ones to keep me busy and to keep me, uh, well, keep me from, they don't keep me from, but it making it hard for me to film videos like I used to. So. That's just how it is, you know, life and all. They're my priority and I love them to death. So it's, that is my main priority. But I've definitely been missing the YouTube, the YouTube videos and making and filming and editing and all that. I really have been missing it. So I will try to keep up again and <laughs> see if I can make it better this time. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy these swatches of the five polishes that I had and stay tuned and i hope i will see you soon again bye